Hello Aquarius and welcome to your June reading. So I've meditated on the uh, and shuffled and laid down the first layer of cards like usual and uh, what I got in the underlying energy or uh, maybe what explains what you're living now. Uh, the first two cards were the seven of sword, the five of swords and the nine the ten of wands sorry ten of so uh, ten of wands five of swords so anyway those two together the energy of those two together uh, that's the feeling of when we're working and working on 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 things trying to uh, meet the two ends and and bring what we uh, invested ourselves on uh, what we want to fruition and there's always something screwing us in a way so it's like um, pulling so much effort for uh, no results or we don't feel any results like uh, life is a constant uh, hardship after that so we have that energy in the underlying energy that means that the actions you're going to put in June's are going to be related uh, to that uh, you'll be confronted to that in a sense to change it to master it to understand it you know and you are going to go uh, do that because uh, in the underlying energy, those two cards came out, King of Cups and the Fool. So that means it's a whole new cycle uh, based on your emotional stability. Uh, knowing how you feel, understanding to the deepest, even in your unconscious, uh, the, your waters your emotions, your unconscious, what, how it affects your life and how you're living. King of Cups is very master of that. That's why they're good psychologists and things like that. And with the Fool, so we're talking about this brand new cycle. And they were showing the energy of that working for, and, you know, for no results. And that is triggered also by the energies of Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So here's that little story of I want to bring my heart, because this is the energy of I want to bring my heart out there, to share it, to give it, because I know that what I've lived emotionally until now didn't, is not satisfying me anymore. I cannot go on like this anymore. I cannot go on like this anymore. It's heavy and I get absolutely nothing out of it. So even though it's under the moon, I don't know exactly where I, it is going to be for me, but I want to have that another, an ace of cup or a two of cup. I want to be able to share my heart and I, with the nine of uh, of pentacles here that tells me that you're doing it from a very solid place from um you've built yourself you're solid you're not flaky there but you understand that on the emotional level it is not satisfying and you want to turn a whole new page understanding what was going on in the past and going to get a real uh, ace of cup in the now the universe sees you in the month of Ju june not july ace of cups so there there the universe is bringing you that but with it the five of pentacle and the hangman so it's like if there is going to be in the month of June kind of a pause that the Ace of Cup wants to be brought to you but you have this energy of uh, being left out in the cold of not going in there 
to have warmth and nourishment and all of that. So that's the energy sometimes. Um, when we live it outside, it's because we have the space inside of us to resonate with it. And that's why it comes into our concrete. So that means that's inside of you. And maybe that is what you are going to discover with the hangman. Have the illumination of it. That maybe you weren't letting yourself be loved and, and uh, truly nurtured and taken care of. You were taking a lot of responsibilities and maybe taking other people's responsibilities to be loved or something like that. But it was never... Um, true, you never got the uh, the same back. You were screwed. That's like you know um, the energy of uh, falling in love with somebody that needs us and hoping that because they need us, it's uh, the love that we are going. They're gonna. Go, they are going to love us back. But it's not the same thing. Being needed and being loved, uh, carrying things for others and, and like giving and giving and giving and not receiving in return, that can be also a way of keeping us like that. So you're going to get a real enlightenment on this in the month of June so that you can receive this Ace of Cup from the universe. And the outcome of that, we have the Emperor Either you are becoming the emperor, mastering your domain, or you are attracting an emperor. Uh, same thing with the king, of, uh, the king of cups. It's either within you or outside of you. We have the wheel of fortune. So these things are going to change the events of your life. The wheel of fortune turns, um, will turn into positive. Here we have the Sphinx with the Sword of Truth. With, when we have that understanding, when we have that uh, wisdom, the Sphinx is wise. And uh, that clarity, and that moves the Wheel of Fortune. And the Magician. So, three major arcanas there in the outcome. So that tells me that what you're going to live in the month of June is going to be very significant for the rest of your life. You're probably getting rid of uh, an old karma, an old way of thinking and doing things because you're going to see it clearly. Uh, bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Swords. So that's you, air sign. And that's when we have our sword of truth and we, we're going with it. It's that movement of action and going to go act with it. Maybe you're going to go speak or whatever, but it's that will and movement. And all, and see, that's your second night. So that will and movement of living, wanting to live something true emotionally, something sound and real, and then understanding and going with your... Uh, Ace of Swords, and it's probably uh, based on something uh, that you've been living for a long time here, Six of Cups. Uh, maybe it's a pattern you learned from in your childhood. And the Six of Cups uh, that is right under there, see, it's like, oh, I understand what was happening here, and I'm going with my uh, Ace of uh, Truth there, understanding, and I'm going with it. And the Six of Cups is the only card that has flowers in there. Because it's the energy that we nourish ourselves with. And that influences the outcomes in our lives. So, let's clarify here. I call upon Spirit. I call upon my guides. And I call upon the light. Help me clarify this one for Aquarius. June. Okay, talk to me about the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. On 
what level was that affecting Aquarius's in the underlying energy? For me, the underlying energy is like spirit saying, this is what I'm going to talk about and the rest is, this is how it's going to happen. Ace of Pentacle. It was affecting how you were able to, and see we have the, how you were able to grab what the universe was offering you. Because I was asking, how does it, did it affect uh, Aquarius's and the ace of pentacle can become the ten of pentacle it's that energy so it was affecting your capacity to bring to fruition something solid something real that you can feel touch you know all of that pentacle or even affecting your capacity to to not just bring it to terms but to even grab it Talk to me about uh, the Five of Pentacles here. justice so we're talking about a karmic energy here and justice brings balance uh, with see she has the sword of truth again that understanding bringing the balance so this energy is going to be balanced because of the understanding hangman talk to me about the hangman Sometimes we have to live something for such a long time until we uh, understand the why, its root, how we got the root, how it affects the people around us, not just us uh, having that energy. And it's like, uh, you know, uh, doing the whole thing and then we understand it clearly. We know it. It's knowing an energy. And once we know an energy, we don't have to live it anymore. And that, that's the difference. That's why the justice is here. So, hangman clarified by the hangman. So, when spirit tells me that, <laughs> it's because uh, you will know. I cannot talk more about it. It's going to be different for all of you. But the hangman, it's bringing our intelligence into what is unknown, into the moon, um, the obscure uh, sector. That's why his, his head is downwards. And uh, in the tree of Sephiroth, I don't know if you're familiar with that, the hangman is the road between the um, uh, hod which is the mental splendor. It's splendor. It's that mental intelligence. And it's going slowly into Yesod, which is just before the kingdom Malkut, which is uh, everything that has to do with obscurity, with uh, uh, not quite manifested yet, but that has an influence on what is manifested. So it's bringing that intelligence. And that's why he is like this. He is bringing it is enlightenment into uh, everything that is unconscious to understand it to see it differently uh, from another angle also so twice the hangman you are going to understand uh, what is happening all right 
and therefore be able to make uh, here justice, major arcana, make that karma finish of that feeling of uh, because in the five of pentacle we're alone alone in the world and like you know having so much on our shoulders or maybe taking care of so many things and so many people but when when it comes to us we're alone there's not that give and take talk to me about the ace of cups here talk to me about the ace of cups we have the Tree of Cups. All right. So, uh, the Ace of Cups per se is that spark from the universe that arrives, that is filled with beautiful emotions, uh, peace, you know, it's overflowing there. And the Tree of Cups is the celebration of life. It's the sh first shape. All the trees... Uh, the the number three is the triangle it's like the one you have the spark the two you have the intention of uh, wanting the energy of wanting to create something uh, but if you don't have the tree which gives it a shape then it's going to be chaotic so uh, the tree here tree of cups it's giving a shape to uh, the beautiful emotions that wants to come in. Like creating a vessel. That's why it's the celebration of life. And it, it is shared emotions also. Um, so it's like if here the universe is giving you that cup. But at the same time it is going to give you the shape in which it is going to be able to... Uh, you're going to be able to uh, receive it. And by quitting your uh, energy of uh, not receiving, uh, that means that you are going to receive it. But during the month of June, you're going to have a certain self-reflection that you're going to have to do. Uh, the hangman is that pause time. Uh, we call it also the sacrifice, but usually it's the sacrifice of something that is hindering us. That maybe we are attached to it because we know it. Uh, letting go of uh, that dynamic here, or letting go of this, you know. If it's a belief that life is like that, you have to let it go. You have to sacrifice it, give it back to the universe. Uh, been there, done that, I understand it. Thank you very much for the lesson. <laughs> All right, in the future, the Emperor. Talk to me about the Emperor here for Aquarius. Okay, we have uh, the Four of Pentacles. So those two together, uh, there could be, um, because the Four of Pentacles in its positive sense, it's uh, grounding an energy, you know, like, a <clears throat> like the Four of Wands is grounding our will and celebrating. Four of Pentacles, it's really grounding an energy and it asks us not to spend or not to go and give ourselves to uh, everybody. And I think in this uh, case, it's good for you because in, in the manner to uh, gain control over your kingdom and everything, maybe you were spreading yourself thin. Maybe you were spreading yourself and putting your energy into everyone around us, uh, around you that you thought that were more deserving or they needed help and uh, trying to get uh, love back that way. Uh, like Now it's like telling you, keep your energy for you, for your own kingdom. Wheel of Fortune.
Ten of Cups. So, here, wanting to go on your quest is going to be successful. The universe is going to bring you that uh, Ten of Cups. Something you haven't lived on that level because before, in the type of energy that you were, you never got quite the Ten of Cups. You got all the way to the Eight of Cups, feeling these things. But now, because you know you want to live more than that, and there's more than this uh, for me in this life, you're doing that self-reflection, understanding your pattern, and now the Wheel of Fortune. You're not giving your energy to everybody else. You're uh, using it to ground and master your own domain. And then the universe is going to turn Wheel of Fortune and give you the Ten of Cups. Magician. So your capacity to manifest with the magician is going to be completely different. And here we have the Knight of Cups again. See? You're, th that's what they were talking about. Your will to bring or to receive a heart there. That is what you are going to manifest. You are going to manifest that capacity to go offer your heart there but in a true way because you are going to understand um, the the new dynamic in a way that can bring you this not in a way that brings you a lot of burdens and uh, feeling screwed completely different isn't it so that is what they are talking about. You are going to start much more solid. Much more solid in this new cycle. Talk to me about the Fool and the King of Cups. Show me what that new cycle is going to look like for Aquarius. The Knight of Swords wanted to come out. That would be like you know where you're going and you're going with the uh, Ace of uh, the Sword of Truth like I talked at in the beginning. We'll see if they want to talk about it. Okay. Oh, well, that's beautiful. What is that new venture going to be once you're all solid we're talking about the solidity and knowing yourself deeply emotional integrity going inside and being very honest with ourselves card of success the chariot but success if your dark side what is in the, under the moon, in your waters, in your unconscious waters, in everything that is not seen. And what you want, what you see, the direction you want to go, if they are aligned, success. And finally, being able to build something solid. Being able to grab the Ace of Cup, the, the Ace of Pentacle. Here, that you maybe you weren't even able to grab it or uh, weren't able to bring it uh, it to the to this level, but now you are going to be able to do it. So whatever is going to come towards you, or just you being in that state, ready to offer your heart, is going to bring you something very solid and very successful. That is what that new cycle is going to be about. So, that is beautiful. Beautiful for you, Aquarius. 
and I would like to thank you for all your comments, shares and subscribes. Uh, I read all the comments and um, well, I'll see you in the month of July. All right. Bye bye.